Hi hi, Mr. Seligman here, and welcome to the music group. some vegetables to make some soup. Do you smell that over there? It smells pretty wonderful. Maybe you can't because the camera isn't the best at capturing smells, but trust me, it smells pretty good. Have you ever watched your parents make soup? Maybe not soup, maybe they've cooked something else. They probably haven't cooked the soup I'm making right now. But do you think you could help me out? You're probably too young to use a metal knife, but I have this special imaginary knife, which I'm gonna trust you with. You have to use only this one though. I'm trusting with it, okay? Here you go. Let me use my less good imaginary knife. Let's go try and cut some soup together, or some vegetables to make some soup, okay? Can you pass the celery over here? Thank you. Uh, pass the tomato. You can cut one yourself as well. Hand me this stuff that you just cut. Pass a carrot over here as well. You can cut one yourself as well. Careful though, careful. Uh, I wish you could smell what I'm smelling. It smells really good. Mm. You know what though? This reminds me of a, of a rhyme or a chant I once learned a long time ago. It goes like this. First time though, I just want you to watch me and listen. Don't cut any vegetables and also don't, don't speak just yet. Right now, just watch and listen. Chop, chop, chippity chop. Cut off the bottom, cut off the top. What there is left, we'll put in the pot. Chop, chop, chippity chop. Do that once again, just watch me and listen. And then you'll join me next, okay? Chop, chop, shippity chop. Cut up the bottom, cut off the top. What there is left, we'll put in the pot. Chop, chop, shippity chop. All right, go grab your imaginary knife. We're gonna cut up some vegetables, okay? Join me. Don't speak just yet, just join me. Chop, chop, shippity chop. Cut off the bottom, cut off the top. What there is left, we'll put in the pot. Chop, chop, shippity chop. Hey, good job. Let's do it once again. Chop, chop, chippity chop. Cut off the bottom, cut off the top. What there is left, we'll put in the pot. Chop, chop, chippity chop. Nice job, awesome. So the thing is though, I want you to imagine, we're not just cooking for our family. What if we're in a restaurant? Ooh. What if we're in a restaurant and there's a lot of customers that are asking for the soup we're making? We have to cut a little faster. This time, you can speak with me if you want to. If not, that's okay. I'm going to uh, chop at a faster beat, all right? One, two, ready, go. Chop, chop, chippity chop. Cut off the bottom, cut off the top. What there is left, we'll put in the pot. Chop, chop, chippity chop. <gasps> Very good, but more customers are coming to our restaurant. We have to cut a little faster, but careful. Don't go faster than me. We got to chop so that make sure we get nice, clean carrots and celery and all the vegetables we're making. One, two, ready, go. Chop, chop, chippity chop. Cut off the bottom, cut off the top. What there is left, we'll put in the pot. Chop, chop, chippity chop. Nice job, awesome. Good thing though, there are less people now. So we can cut a little slower, make sure it's nicer and cleaner cuts, okay? Slower beat. One, 
two, ready, go. Chop, chop, chippity chop. Cut off the bottom, cut off the top. What there is left, we'll put in the pot. Chop, chop, chippity chop. Nice job. Maybe when you grow up, you could be a chef. This time, I'm going to tell you which vegetables and fruits I want inside the pot. Okay, and we're going to do what we call a word chain. We're going to sew it all together. Now, you're going to see two lines right here. We're just going to work on the first line first, the ones that are highlighted, okay? Let's go um, me first, you next, all right? Say that for me. Tomato, beets, celery, corn. Again, tomato, beets, celery, corn. Nice. Now, let's go chop the beet. Tomato, beets, celery, corn. Nice. This time, let's go say it together. There's no pauses at all. One, two, ready, go. Tomato, beets, celery, corn. Tomato, beets, celery, corn. Nice job. This time, let's go try doing the same thing but the second line, okay? Carrots, radish, cauliflower, gourd. Let's try it again. Good job. Carrots, radish, cauliflower, gourd. All right, grab your imaginary knife. Let's go cut the beat up and speak the words. Carrots, radish, cauliflower, gourd. Good, again, carrots, radish, cauliflower, gourd. Awesome. Now, second line once again, but no pauses, all the way through. With me, ready? One, two, ready. Carrots, radish, cauliflower, gourd. Carrots, radish, cauliflower, gourd. Nice. Now, what if we sewed all two lines together, okay? Let's go try this out. We might make a few mistakes along the way, but that's okay. One, two, ready. Tomato, beets, celery, corn, carrots, radish, cauliflower, gourd. Nice job. But what if we do the first line, the second line, and then we go back to the first line and do the second line again? Can you do that with me? One, two, ready. Tomato, beets, celery, corn, carrots, radish, Cauliflower gourd, tomato, beets, celery, corn, carrots, radish, cauliflower gourd. Nice job. So this time we're going to do a pattern. Maybe we can call it A, B, and A. Our A is going to be our little rhyme, chop, chop, shibbity, chop. And then the B section, we're going to cut up the different vegetables and fruits. And then A, we go back to the, our fun little chant of chop, chop, chippity, chop. You got it? Chop, chop, chippity, chop. Cut off the bottom, cut off the top. What there is left, we'll put in the pot. Chop, chop, chippity, chop. Good. Now B section. One, two, ready. Tomato, beets, celery, corn, carrots, radish, cauliflower, gourd. Tomato, beets, Celery and corn, carrots, radish, cauliflower, gourd. Good job. Now back to the A section. One, two, ready. Chop, chop, chippity chop. Cut off the bottom, cut off the top. What there is left, we'll put in the pot. Chop, chop, chippity chop. Amazing job, guys. Now, let's go grab our imaginary knife. Make sure we clean it properly. Turn on the faucet. Shh. Get both sides and turn it off. Grab your rag on the side that's not the sharp side. We're gonna cleanly wipe it off. And could you carefully hand me the handle of your imaginary knife? Thank you. Awesome. I had a great time and maybe, maybe you can record yourself with your imaginary knife. You know what? You can hold on to this imaginary knife, but only use the imaginary one, not the metal one. And if you have some free time, Maybe you could record yourself cutting up some imaginary vegetables, making some fun imaginary soup, and then you can send it to me in the email below. Now, I had fun cutting up some imaginary vegetables with you, but until next time, I hope you explore, you experiment, and go 
Todes na feira.